A touch tool is the circle down in the bottom left hand side there. That's that circle there. Now you can, you can move that and I'll show you that in a moment. But right now let's try the first one. While using the brush tool, press and hold to access the eraser version of your brush. Well, let's try that, shall we? Now I've got the brush tool selected, so let's just use a hard line there. Oops, that's too hard. So hold down the touch tool. You can see I've got it selected there in the center. Now, maintaining a steady hand on that, I can go along there and delete that line. That's all there is to it. Then let it go and I can now draw a straight line across there. I want to change that now to green for various reasons that will become obvious in a moment. Back to there and Draw a green line across there. There we go. A little bit of a bump, but, but that's all right. Now, if I wanted to brush those out again, I simply hold my finger on there. Make sure you're in the center of that circle, because I'll show you in a minute something quite different happens if you move to the outside of that circle. Now, I'll just rub that bit out there. There we go. Made a correction. Now, the next part of the tour is secondary actions. For each tool, the touch shortcut has two actions. With the brush tool selected, which we have got here, brush tool is selected, yes. Slide to the outer edge to switch to the eyedropper tool. Now, see I've got down here, now I hold my finger on it and I slide to the outer edge. Now you can see the green circle there because that's the last one I used. Let's just go up here and touch that. Now we've got red selected again. Now you could select any color you had on your uh, board there. We are on there, we've got red selected, it's a red brush. But maybe I want to do green again. Hold my finger on there, move to the outside. Touch the green and you can see the color changes to green immediately again. And that's pretty neat, isn't it? That's all there is to it. That's quite a good one, that one. You don't have to wander around looking for the eyedropper tool, which is just there, by the way. But that's a quick way of doing it within a complex image. So let's go to the next tool, which is number three. This one is... Too easy. Long press and drag to move the shortcut anywhere on your board. So you've got your tool there. Let's just hold it down and we can move it over to there. So now we have it right there. Hold it down. Let it go. Hold it down. Move it over there. Take it over there. Go for a bit of a trip around the board. Take it back to there. That's too easy. That's just by holding down that circle just for a second or two, a couple of ticks of the clock, and you can drag it anywhere on your artboard. Now the last one in this series, number four, the brush tool is just one of many you can use with the touch shortcut. Find a complete list here and help. Now view and gestures. There's the help menu there. We're going to have to move that out of the way, aren't we? Pesky little thing. Never mind. View gestures. There's our gestures there. Move our pesky little thing out of the way again. Now, by holding two finger tap, you can undo the last action. Three finger tap, you can redo the last action. Move tool options, well that's the one we just did. Hold and drag the grabber at the top of the tool options to move it around the canvas. Now I can't close that at the moment and you can't see that. So I can't get it without closing that down. 
Move tool options. Reveal more options. Long press icons that have triangles. Well, that's easy. See those triangles there? There we go, finally got it, because it wouldn't go with that help screen in the way, and that's fair enough. Paint bucket, gradient, and actions. That one there. Adjustment tools, dodge, burn, sponge, and smudge. That one there. Clone tools. Lots of different options there. Different brush, erasure brush sizes. different brush sizes, and the selection tool, lasso, object, quick selection, mark, marquee, magic wand, a whole range of tools there. Now we can go back to there, and that's the move and select it. You see we can grab hold of that, we can drag that over to that side if you like and put it there. Click on that. Auto select layer to canvas. Well, we don't need that, but we can put that back over there. That was the one that was mentioned just here. Let me get back to it and show you a few gestures. That's the one that's mentioned there. Hold and drag. Hold and drag the grabber at the top of the toolbar to move it around the canvas. Now we have to close that obviously. I'll just show you that again. There we go. Grab hold of that and move it around the canvas. Piece of cake. Okay, that's all there is to it. Let's finish there. Thanks very much for watching. A quick little exercise. Pass it on to your friends. And don't forget to tap the bar and the bell. To subscribe to the channel. And watch for the forthcoming videos that will steadily appear here. Now if you've got the bell selected, you'll be notified when new videos appear. Otherwise, you'll just have to keep coming back and checking yourself. So I hope to see you in the next video and thanks for watching this little exercise.